I'm just taking a look here. And just as I suspected, um, it has to come down to what are called section breaks. So you have this defined as a chapter, which is great. Um, that's exactly right. Uh, but what we're missing is uh, what are called section breaks. And that's how the page numbering will know that it's going from one chapter to another by, by adding in section breaks. And the way I know this is that, let's see, I'm going to go all the way to the top. And on the Home tab, there's a little button here right next to Styles. It looks like a little reverse P. It's for showing paragraph markings. And when I do that, you notice when I toggle on and off, it's going to show where the enters are, where page breaks. So you can see right here, there's a page break. And then we come here. What should be here is a section break. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this page break. So I'm just going to put my cursor just to the right of page break, press backspace. I'm going to hit delete one more time just for good measure. Now you notice my cursor is at the beginning of the word online. So that is perfect. I'll leave it there. And I'm going to go to layout and go to breaks. And I want to insert a section break next page. So what that does is you can see up here, you can kind of see some dots. And then there is a section break. And then you magically note that there is now, it says 2 1, which means it is now chapter 2, the first page of chapter 2. And then you notice this one says 3 3 because we haven't removed the page break for this last one. So I'm going to do the same thing. Come over here, insert a break with the next page. And then you notice it now says 3 1. And then to toggle this off, the little paragraph view, you go to home and then hit the paragraph button. Hopefully that helps. Feel free to reach out if you have any questions. Take care.